is a presentation of Fox Sports. We are Black Fox. We are Detroit. Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is presented by Bell Tire. The battle is coming. Independence Day resurgence in theaters Friday. And here today, it's our own matchup as we welcome you to Comerica Park. We're in downtown Detroit tonight. Game three in this series featuring the Seattle Mariners and your Detroit Tigers. Hi again, everyone. Welcome to Tigers Baseball. Mario and Peppa, Kirk Gibson. Glad you're with us here tonight for the Tigers and M's. And while the Tigers could be going for three straight, they've got Michael Fulmer on the mound. He has been fun to watch, and boy, he's really put it together. He really has, and he's become the rookie stopper when he was acquired last year in the Cespedes trade. They knew they got a good, powerful guy, but they didn't realize just how good he, he, he could become in such a short period of time. Had the 95-mile-an-hour fastball. They knew that. They didn't know he was going to throw so many ground balls. He also throws the two seamer, good ground ball getter itself. Then he features the slider. He throws it down and away. Also gets away with it up in the zone. He's got good tight spin on it. And now for the neutralizer. He can come out with the changeup after his first four starts. And this has been the difference in the development of Michael Fulmer. That's really turned his season around. He's become very dominant. Look at his first four starts, the usage of his pitches. And then now you see the difference of 6.52 ERA in his first four after making better use of that changeup at .45 ERA. Michael Fulmer, Fulmer very dominant, has a great career ahead of him. All right, Tigers going for three in a row tonight. Tigers and M's glad you're with us right now. We send you back to the Call Sam Studios and Justin White.
They're coming back. Our whole lives built up to this moment. Not going up there to make friends, right? Park for tonight. Seattle is in town for the third game of this four-game series. The Tigers and M's and the Tigers tonight throwing Michael Fulmer. He is presented by Family Heating, Cooling, and Electrical. Oh, Michael's been great in 10 starts, seven and two on the year. ERA at 2.43, great for a rookie. We talked about the changeup usage. He's developed really a fourth solid pitch. And how many innings will they let him go? That's kind of the question. He's thrown so good, they're going to have to. Slow him down a little bit. Innings projected. Here is the starting lineup tonight for Seattle, presented by the Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. Leonis Martin leads it off, and Seth Smith and Robinson Cano. Deho Lee will get the start at first base, then Seeger and Lind, Cattell Marte, 
He's had himself a series seven hits already. Clevenger and Aoki rounding it out for Scott Service and the Seattle Mariners. Here is Leonis Martin. He'll get things started tonight. Cloudy evening here at the ballpark. The first one home is missing low. One ball and no strikes. It'll be Martin, Smith, and Cano here in the first inning. Fulmer's 1 0 pitch. A little bit outside, two balls and no strikes. Martin in the series is three for ten. However, he has fanned five times. The 2 0 pitch. That's in there, two balls and one strike. Martin batting 258, a little bit of pop at the top of the Seattle lineup with 10 home runs. Swing and a miss, two balls and two strikes. Michael Fulmer bringing out the off speed pitch right here down to the count. There you can see the grip coming out. Good action on it. Straight down in the zone. Martin over top. Fulmer, 23 years old, a native of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and he's been a Really stalwart in the Tigers rotation in the three spot in the rotation behind Zimmerman Verlander. Fulmer took the losses last time out but pitched well. There's a ball that just missed inside. Three and two now on Leonis Martin. And Martin swings and misses. He chases the high heat. And Fulmer at 96 has his first strikeout. Let's take a look at the Tigers starting defense presented by Beaumont Health. Jay up over there in left field. Cam Maben, Stephen Moya in right. Nick Castellanos in third. Jose Iglesias again along with Ian Kinsler up the middle. Miguel Cabrera at first base. Gerard Saltovacchia is catching Michael Fulmer tonight. Here is Seth Smith. They play the shift on for Smith around to the right side of the infield. Fulmer missing high with a fastball that hit 95 there, 1 0. He had thrown uh, Martin a couple of off speed pitches, then gas him up top, 96. Martin couldn't catch up. Seth Smith uh, gets the high heater as well, first pitch. Ripped to center field. That'll get down a base hit. Smith is on now with one out. Well, this ball is just right on the outside corner. That's a pretty good hit right there by Seth Smith, 95 miles an hour. Stays on it, keeps his bat through the zone, doesn't pull off. He's been around a while, he has a good stroke uh, on the outside pitch. Seattle had 19 hits in the first game of the series, but lost 8 7 in 12 innings. And uh, in this series, they're just four for 24 with men in scoring positions. So they've had a ton of chances. As they, Robinson Cano stands in. They have. You got to give the Tigers pitching uh, a little prop on that, but the defense as well. The Tigers have made some outstanding plays. Hammered toward left center field. Upton going over. Justin Upton with a running play and a ball hit to the warning track. The ball's been flying in the first two games of this series, and I was just looking out at the flag. It's actually flowing in from left, but this ball takes off. Jay up. It's got that little feeling. Oh boy, it's really going to shoot off on me. But uh, good job, good angle. Puts it away. That's a loud sound off Robinson Cano's bat. It's one of the advantages to playing deep. You're able to get to those balls that take off like that. Of course, you leave yourself susceptible to the shorter fly balls and, and loopers. They drop in for a single. Here is De Ho Lee getting his first start in the series, and he shoots one foul back out of play. Lee had a pinch hit base hit in the ball game last night. His only at bat so far. Actually, hit in the first game as well. So two appearances for Lee. Played in both Korea and Japan before coming to the United States. And he looks at a ball outside. Lee 293, 10 home runs, so he possesses a little bit of power. 
nickname is Big Boy. Inappropriate name. Understand why? That's one of them. Sumo of SWAT, another. <laughs> Not sure I should say the next one, so we'll keep <laughs> we'll, it to ourselves. We'll stop at sumo of SWAT. Two balls and one strike on Deho Lee. Here's the 2 1 pitch outside, three balls and one strike. Looks like Michael Fulmer a little erratic today early in the first inning. Looks like he might be overthrowing a bit. May take some time to get his rhythm, get settled down, and get settled in. Fulmer allowed just one run in five and two thirds in KC in his last start, but took the loss in that game. Three one is hammered to right, base hit. Lee with a solid single to right field. Two on and two out. Here are the field conditions tonight presented by Ace Hardware and the Scotts Company. 80 degrees at game time. There is a chance of rain a little bit later on, and our track tonight is. Oh, it's pleasant environment. Okay, it's the environment tonight, not the track. <laughs> you threw me a curveball. <laughs> Got to change it up. A little warning might help next time. Got to get the uh, stylus warmed up. Got lots to tell us straight tonight. Lots of good things. Kyle Seeger will stand in. He's had a couple of hits in this series, both of them home runs. In fact, he was responsible for their only two runs last night a home run against Verlander. Seeger, one of those guys that can just flat out hit. He's knocked in 48 runs this year. Fulmer now with the 1 0 pitch. Inside 2 0. You tell Michael by his body language, he's a little bit upset with himself. Yeah, I think that Kerwin Danley and uh, Michael Fulmer are having a hard time hooking up on the strike zone as well. A couple marginal pitches, but uh, the ratio not where you want it so far. Nine balls out of the 17 total. So Seeger now has himself in a 2 0 count. Gonna have to throw something off speed here, probably. Good place for the changeup. Yep. 2 and 1. There you see it. He's gonna turn it over. If you want to pitch in the big leagues, you get 2 0 to guys like Kyle Seeger. You throw that fastball in there, and you won't be here very long. And Michael Fulmer has learned that lesson in his first four starts. The changeup really, it's been remarkable how quickly that pitch has come for him. And it all started in a bullpen session where he went in there and threw 30 straight changeups and uh, had the confidence to throw it that very next game. And it's been good. Low, three balls and one strike on Seeger. Adam Lynn waiting on deck. Seattle threatening here in the first with two on and two outs. Former's got some good shadows working for him right now, so something with some spin on it should keep Seeger off balance. And a strike call, three and two. Looked like he was looking for the changeup again. Got the heater. Seeger has had four straight years of 20 or more home runs. He should easily get there this year. He already has 15. Runners will go on 3 2. Ooh, a little bit of an early lead there by Smith, but nobody there to cover. See 3 2 coming home to Seeger. Grounded foul. Well, Myers brings you the big money encounter, and since May, Kyle Seeger has turned things around. 
Well, it's just amazing how it takes sometimes it just takes a couple months to get ready to go. You can see the numbers bear it out. Just doubled his production, average, everything. OPS is much higher, doing damage. He's hurt the Tigers so far in this series, although the Tigers have won the first two. Bouncing ball, that's a fair ball inside the bag. Miggy has it, Fulmer covers. And the threat is over. No runs, two hits, two men left. As Michael Fulmer wanted it, 22 pitches though, but they stranded a couple of runners and no damage done. Here come the Tigers now as we go to the bottom of the first inning. Their lineup tonight presented by the Southeast Michigan Four Dealers: Kinsler, Maven, Cabrera, your top three batters. Middle of the lineup tonight is Martinez, Castellanos, and Upton. You got Moya, Saltillamaquia, and Iglesias, and they are facing the offerings of Hisashi Iwakuma, crafty veteran, uh, 35 years old. You know, he had a deal with the Dodgers, remember, but it fell through, so he's still here in with the Mariners. Seven innings pitched in five of his last five starts. 90 pitches, 90 innings pitched this year in 14 starts, averaging over six and a half. Their most consistent starter. 35 years of age out of Tokyo, Japan. He throws my favorite pitch. And that would be? The Shuto. The Shuto, yeah. Hey. Want to tell everybody what that is? It's a sort of a changeup, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of a two seamer similar to a screwball described in America as the reverse slider. What movie was that mentioned in? Here's the 01 pitch. Mr. Baseball. Tom Selleck oh, couldn't hit Mr. the shoot though. And how do we spell it? I'm going to go with S H Uto. U U T O? Yeah, I'll go with that. That's good. Inside two balls and one strike. How are we spelling it? That's how I spell it. All right. I thought you had the official spelling of we, that. We always got to give people something to have an opinion on early in the game. Oh, they have opinions. Like it. Here's the two one pitch. Foul back. Two and two. There was a, an old Japanese, well, not an old, but there's a Japanese pitcher that pitched for the Angels in my days there. Named Shigatoshi Hasegawa, and he used to throw the shuto all the time. Was he here in Detroit too? Who did we? No, we didn't. No, uh, that was Masao Kita. Here's the 2 2, and it's a check swing, but he went around, strike three. Let's take a look at the Mariners' starting defense brought to you by Tim Hortons, Nori Aoki in left, Leonis Martin in center, Seth Smith in right, Kyle Seeger. Third base, Deho Lee on the other corner at first base. Cattell Marte at shortstop, Robinson Cano at second, and Steve Clevenger behind the plate today with Sashi Iwakuma. Here's Cameron Maven. 
A solid 353 batting average. Camus is safely in his last four, and he takes strike one. Iwakuma pitched for 11 seasons in Japan. Came to the U.S. in 2012. But outside, one ball and one strike. Really, a, a strike thrower. has got all the pitches, uh, not overpowering. Used to throw 95, but uh, hurt his arm a long time ago. He's very good at knowing how to get outs with what he has available. Not a lot straight. And like uh, most Japanese pitchers, there is a little bit of deception to his delivery. He has a little bit of a stutter when he starts his windup. You know, back when he was in uh, Japan, they made him change. They actually changed the rule because he used to have a two-stage motion. So there you got it now. Good sinker there. Cam lays off. Excellent. Three and one on Maven. Cabrera will be next. Maven sends a ground ball up the middle, but right there is Cano. Two gone. By the way, if the Tigers combine for three or more home runs in this game, bring a copy of the box score to a participating Arby's location tomorrow and get a free small order of curly fries. Dummy. Here's Cabrera. Who homered in game one in the series, a monster two run shot on the first inning that literally left the ballpark. Miggy, two out of eight of the series against Seattle. Driven high in the air, deep into left field, way back to the corner it goes. And that ball is gone, a home run. He's got himself another. Sixteenth of the year for Miguel. Miggy likes to hit that home run in the first inning. Just a hanging breaking ball, throws it right at that front hip, and Miggy doesn't bail at all. It's just right there, saying, "Hit me." Seventy-one miles an hour. See, so he doesn't get out front. It's kind of a flat breaking ball. Looks almost like Miguel was looking for that pitch, and he got it. One nothing times. Well, we're a third of the way to Curly Fries. Two more to go. Smiles, handshakes, and high fives for Cabrera. Think you can switch it out for uh, Arby's Jr.? We'll have to ask. <laughs> it's all good. Owen won the count on Victor. 325 for Martinez, among the best in the American League. He is fourth in the AL in hitting. Did not go. Ties Mickey Mantle for 119th on MLB's career hit list, 24 15. How many years is it going to take him to get 3,000? Here's a ball outside. Well, he's over 2,400. You're talking about hits, correct? Yeah. Yeah, he's at 2,400 and some change now. So it's about so 600, 180 a year. Three and a half years. He's definitely going to make it. Oh, no question. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Not that he would need it to get to the Hall of Fame, but that seems to be one of the milestones. That's a lock. Do that, that's a lock. Jokes are always funnier when uh, <laughs> good things are happening. No doubt. Two and two on Martinez. Get down the left field line back out of play. Victor in the series, three for nine. He is knocked in 38 this year. 
But he bats left handed most teams will shift him dramatically like the Mariners are doing. Not so much when he bats right handed. Iwakuma with the 2 2. And he got him strike three. You won't see that often. Victor takes a called third, second strike out of the game for Iwakuma. However, Cabrera goes kaboom. It's his fifth, 16th home run of the season. A solo shot, and that gives the Tigers a 1 0 lead. Tags up 1 0 on the Cabrera home run. And now Adam Lind will get things started for Seattle. We go to the second. And Lind looks at a strike. He'll be followed by Marte and Clevenger. Lind has power, 10 homers this year. He is 3 4 10 in the series. Ooh, right off the mask, a direct hit. Wake up call. Saul Tolamakia behind the dish tonight. I thought they might get the start last night, but McCann, after back to back extra inning games, caught again last evening. 25 innings, two games. Here's the 0 2. 1 and 2 on Lynn. A well deserved night off tonight for that guy right there. James McCann. You try and relax. You usually go in and get a lot of treatment from the training staff. Says that his legs get tired, especially the hip flexors. So you try to get in there and get those released, rubbed out a little bit. It's a lot of up and down when you think about it. And especially the final game in that series against KC, the temperature was extremely hot. Two balls and two strikes, but I suppose that's why these guys work so hard in the offseason and get into uh, premium shape. Yeah, you want to put yourself in a position that you can recover and uh, the mental break that he's getting tonight too. Catching is very strenuous on your noggin. The 2-2 two -two is inside three and two the count. 28 pitches 13 of them for balls. For Fulmer. Marte on deck. Here's the three two. Swing and a drive into deep right center field. Moya going back to the track, to the wall, looks up, makes the catch up against the wall. Stephen Moya. Lynn picked the wrong part of the ballpark, and Moya got there to make the play. That's tough to uh, catch right there. A ball is really, really carrying. He got right to that cutout right there. Found out where he was. A big, tall guy, six feet, seven inches. Have an easy catch once he got back there. Good job of keeping the concentration. You see these lights over here. 
you're going and that kind of spooks you a little bit but you did a very good job you go out and work in batting practice and try and make it so you are comfortable under that situation and he and he was off the bat that ball looked like it was going to go but he hit it to that triangle out there in right center field and that's kind of Death Valley out there. Could tell Marte the batter he's had himself a tremendous series and he hits a sharp grounder right to Miggy. He'll take it himself. A couple of good defensive plays here. Two away now. Stay tuned to Tigers Live following the game. We'll select the Fox Sports Detroit Tigers player of the game presented by McDonald's. Stop by for your breakfast favorites now being served all day. Good D right here. I like this. Mickey gets it. I like when the first baseman takes the ball to the bank if he can. You get your pitchers running over there. A lot bad can happen. And uh, the exchange, something can happen. Also, a pitcher can hit that, that bag and sprain an ankle, twist a knee, get into a collision with the runner. So, uh, Moya with a good catch, Mickey with a good play. Two down. Steve Clevenger, the catcher, stands in and he looks at a strike on one. Clevenger getting his first start in the series. They had Chris Ionetta catching the first two. One ball, one strike on Clevenger. Two thirty batting average. Two and one. Yanking it a lot. You notice that? A lot, lot over there in the left handed batter's box. He's trying to throw the ball in, but he keeps yanking it in off the corner. Fulmer's June numbers are microscopic. His record is three and one. His earned run average this month is 0.36. Now the 2 2. Again inside and low, 3 and 2. I uh, referenced it uh, in the open about how many innings the Tigers are going to be comfortable letting Michael Fulmer throw after about 125 innings combined last year in the minor leagues. Got him, strike three call. And Fulmer has his second strike out of the ball game. Got a little help from his defense, Moya and Miggy. As we go to the bottom of the second Castellanos will lead things off for Detroit one nothing is our score on the Cabrera home run. Nicholas batting 302 as we start play tonight he'll be followed by Upton and then Moya. 
Iwakuma goes back to work and the first one is high and away. Look at the alignment there kind of the reverse shift over on the left side of the diamond. One zero -oh is down low. Two and zero oh the count. You ever watch guys uh, when they're in the on deck circle when you come down to the ballpark? They all do their own little different thing, trying to get ready for the bat. Jay up's got the donut there. They have different kinds of donuts right there. Big heavy one. That's in there. Two and one. Oh, I said donut. I don't even eat donuts anymore. Do you? Yeah, I do. It perked me up. Big jelly one. Yeah. <laughs> How much can you glean from the on deck circle on what the pitcher is featuring that day? I think you're just trying to get the timing. Two and two on Castellanos. Weren't the, uh, the donuts uh, back in your day a lot skinnier, just little round rings that used to go? Yeah, it was. It was uh, that one's kind of big too. But uh, yeah, it was just a one little ring, like you say. Sometimes you had those pipes out there as well. Right. I remember those. Hit it the other way and he beat the shift. Lead off single for Castellanos. MGM Grand Detroit brings you the scouting report on one of the hotter Tigers. That would be Justin Upton. Well you're looking at the average during his 11 game hit streak. Crushing everything in the middle of the plate right now. So part of it is. Maybe the execution isn't as good, but he is on time and he is making the pitchers pay for making the mistakes. 11 game hitting streak for Justin. 311 batting average in that stretch. And they play him to pull as well. Pretty much the same oh. defensive alignment they had on the infield against Castellanos. Nice place to hit it through right here. We can go first and third with that. That'll break low and away. One ball and one strike on Justin. Upton last night was on base a couple of times, single, intentional walk, and of course, Upton. Had the game winning home run in the 12th inning of game one in the series. I think Jay Up's going to see a lot of off speed pitches. Certainly those chase that they'd want him to chase. They're going to hit him inside to keep him honest. Ultimately, they're going to try and get him to chase the breaking pitches, breaking out of the zone. Get into an up count right here, 2 1 count. Most hitters would like to see the fastball, but the reality of it is. Probably less than 50 percent of the time you're going to see him when pitchers get behind in the account. They usually throw the off speed pitches. Two and two. Iwakuma is signed through this season for Seattle. They've got a couple of options to the Mariners the next two years. But his numbers in a Seattle uniform have been pretty good. Levenger flashing the signals. And the 2 2. Pull toward third, fair ball. Seeger to second one. Relay Cano. Double play. Okay, that's Seeger. Really turns it over quick, doesn't he? Step to his right. Gets rid of it. Perfect throw. And Cano is just outstanding on the turn. He was good before. When you could slide into it, now that you can, it's even better. And Seeger has made really uh, some good plays in this series, the Gold Glove winner, but he made a great play on Martinez last night. For the double play? For the double play, yeah. Diving to make a double play. Diving, got up, and turned the double play. Steven Moya stands in. Played to pull on the right side of the infield, ball one. The lone guy on the left is Seeger. Here's the 1 0 pitch. 
right back up the middle and knocked down by Marte, but he has no play. Well, Stephen Moya swinging the bat pretty good. It's really changed uh, from last year, and he's made some adjustments. We'll get to that into his next at bat, but uh, the two out single right here. He's got a really good chance now with the injury to J.D. Martinez to show what he can do on a fairly consistent basis on right field. Well, J.D. was really hot when he got hurt. Tigers are hoping four weeks max. Should he come back healthy, then Moya's got a little cup of coffee. He's got a little more of it filled up. Goes back to Triple A, possibly. It'll be ready if he's needed again. I like that. His cup of coffee is filled up. One strike on Salt to Lamakia. You know, we always found that you bring a guy up and expose him to the big league atmosphere, it's somewhat overwhelming. And then when you send them back down, though they are disappointed, they really have confidence when they go down into AAA. Hammer to center field. Martin coming on, base hit. Moya will stop at second, and there are two on. Then when they come back, they feel like they belong. The overwhelming atmosphere is gone. Boy, Salty. Ball's down. Salty goes down and gets it. Ball's really out of the strike zone, but to stay through the ball. Tigers are threatening here with two outs. Three hits in this inning. The double play has helped out Iwakuma. There's Iglesias. He had a big hit last night that I think kind of got lost in the shuffle. The two out single in the seventh, which led to the Tigers' first run. And then he was hit by a pitch later in the game. But his at bats, Gibby, have gotten a lot better recently. Yes, he has. Started off very slowly early in the season. More consistent, that's what you look for, not one just here and there. Ball one to Iglesias. Really able to put the bat on the ball almost any any position. You can see uh, 333 average. Up 38 points. 14 runs this month. Does have six extra base hits. Two on here with two outs. The Tigers on top, one nothing. We're playing in the bottom of the second. Low ball two. Now Clevenger out to the mound to have a chat with Iwakuma. Yeah, hey, Iwakuma, no, he's a veteran guy. He's not going to throw one right down the middle. He's going to try and throw something marginal that's just moving off to an edge or a corner. And see if we can get Iglesias to get himself out. Again, as a hitter, you have energy within yourself, within your body. You're anticipating that he's going to throw a strike. Mel Stoudemire Jr., pitching coach for the Mariners. Got to be patient with your staff. Got to know when to say something and when to let him go. That'll sail high, and the count goes to three balls and no strikes. Lee Wakuma came into this game pitching extremely well, a 2-1-7 ERA over his last seven starts. But he got stung by the home run in the first by Cabrera. Now he's got himself a two-out jam here in the second. The 3-0, and he's taking all the way. Strike call, three and one. Right down Woodward, Woodward Avenue, right? Who said that? Frank Beckman used to say that, right? Right down Woodward. How about right down Broadway? That was another one. And yeah, who said that? I think that's just a baseball yeah. term in general. Here's the 3 1. Driven in the air toward left field. On the move is Aoki. Still going back. Track ball off the wall. Moya scores. Saltalamakia right behind him. He will score a double and two RBIs for Jose Iglesias. And he almost hit it out. One more little workout, maybe, but uh, 
Iglesias continues to hammer the ball. You get up in the count, three balls and a strike. Ball runs inside on Iglesias, pulls his hands in. Let's watch the runners run. These guys aren't fast. This is what technique really matters. Moya knows he's going to score easy. Look at Salty. Last peak, outside foot on the bag. Like it. Naoki runs out of territory here. Ball goes off the wall and hits him. Two RBI for Iglesias. So Tigers with the two out rally. Swing and a miss by Kinsler. Two run double for Iglesias after the double play singles by Moya and Saltilamakia set it up. And then Iwakuma fell behind the number nine hitter and paid for it. That's three runs on five hits now already for the Tigers. Here's the 0 1. Grounded foul, no balls and two strikes. The Bernstein advantage brings us the pitcher batter matchup between this duo, Kinsler and Iwakuma. He has had good success, 379 average, and that's not a small sample size. 29 at bats, does have three home runs. Struck out in his first at bat. It looks like he's not picking Iwakuma up in the second at bat as well. But if history repeats itself, it looks like he may get on him here. Get a base hit and plate Iglesias. Did not go, so says Andy Fletcher at first base. Ian just does not look like he's picking the ball up yet. Kinsler is struck out in the first inning. Two out of 11 in the series, celebrating a birthday today, Ian Kinsler. Happy 34th. The 1 2. Cam may have been waiting on deck. Kinsler is third in the American League and runs scored with 58. Mookie Betts and Josh Donaldson are ahead of him. Two balls, two strikes. High fly ball, left field, not deep. Aoki is under it. And that'll end the inning, but the Tigers do some two out damage. Jose Iglesias hits it off the wall and left, driving in two.
Tigers extended the Tigers lead is now three to nothing as we go to the top of the third here at Comerica. It'll be Nori Aoki to lead things off against Michael Fulmer. Who had some help from his defense in the second but got him one two three as Aoki shows but. Fulmer continues to pull the ball to the left handed batter's box. Martin and Smith to follow. There's a chopper to the right side. Backhanded pick Cabrera. One gone. Nice short hop there, Miggy. If you're a, a fielder, the hop you want is the short hop, meaning you want to get your glove real close to the ball as it's bouncing. The long hop can take bad hop on you, so you don't want that. Miggy did a good job there. Here's Leonis Martin. When you catch that ball, you want to move your glove towards the ball. Don't, you do not want to go backwards with it. You want to smother that hop. Martin struck out of the first. He has now struck out six times already in the series. Fulmer's 1-1. One, one. Nick still on the grass at third base, guarding against a possible bunt from Martin. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Soft line drive to the shortstop. And it falls right into the glove of Iglesias. Two gone now. Time for a game break. Here's Trevor Thompson. The All right, Trev, the Indians try to win their sixth consecutive game. And they're uh, beaten up early on Chris Archer. Smith looks at a strike. Hope they got an off day tomorrow. Huh. Cools them down. That breaks the momentum. When you're in a six game winning streak, you don't want to take a day off. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Might be the only thing right now that could slow down the Indians. We come in here on Friday for a three game set this weekend with the Tigers. Indians this year played well at progressive field 22 and 12. One one pitch a wave and a miss. Let's take a look at this AL Central standings. Leave it on top two and a half games over Kansas City four and a half over the Tigers. Tigers won two in a row. Need to make it three. Pounded back out of play. And then four or five. Let's yeah. See. And that's what this ball club needs, Kirk. I mean, it needs a five or six game winning streak and then just take off from there. Well, I think they're trying to move their pitchers, you know, the starting pitching staff and the bullpen around a little bit. It has become a matter of performance as well. Sanchez, a couple of appearances in the pin. There's a swing and a miss to strike him out. One, two, three, go the M's. We'll go to the bottom of the third.
Tigers baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by Comerica Bank. Raise your expectations of what a bank can be when it's time. Come to Comerica. The all new 2017 Chrysler Pacifica and by Kroger. Carousel going at uh, full speed here at Comerica Park. Have you ever ridden that? This one, no. What do you mean this one? Well, I've ridden a carousel before, just not that one. Maven swings in the first and rolls it towards short. Marte gobbles it up. One out. Are you a big, uh, like, roller coaster guy? Do you like those things? Why not? That doesn't answer my question. Is that a yes or a no? Yeah, of course. Really? They're getting a little bigger nowadays. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe you could take your wife around there just for a little stroll, so get a little breeze blowing on you, huh? <laughs> let my hair, oh, wait. Yeah, let your let hair, my hair wait. flow in the wind. Oh, wait. Here's Miguel Cabrera. Yeah, you could pretty much get a haircut on that thing. Wouldn't mess anything up at all. <laughs> One ball and no strikes. On Cabrera. So Miggy looks at ball two outside. Solo shot of the first got the Tigers on the board. They lead three nothing now. Iwakuma has gone three and zero. Oh. Martinez on deck. Tigers in search of their third consecutive victory. And he lost it. Ball four. Well, here's the magic move shot presented by Magic Window. It happened in the first inning. We were hoping he was going to make it two in the game. Miguel Cabrera. First pitch gets the hang and break it off Iwakuma and delivers. It was a moon shot. Put the Tigers up 1 0. Added two in the second. Lead now 3 0. Brenner already talking down there at first base. Martinez the batter. Victor struck out looking in the first inning. Playing to pull on the infield and Martinez takes outside ball one. This is better for Victor. They're usually one here one here one here. Much better odds of getting a base hit through that modified shift because of the runner Cabrera on first base. Pulled and it's a foul ball. Right by Lee, the first baseman. That was just foul. You see it from right down the line right here. Umpires have had to be on their toes. That's we got over there today. That's Andy Fletcher. Ball gets on you quick. One ball, one strike on Victor Martinez. Three for ten in the series for Victor. Good pitch, outer edge, one two. And look at this umpire. This is Ben May right here. That ball, whew, he's about 90 feet away, maybe. Yeah, you have to be a little farther, 100. But I stood out there at B, during BP one day just to see how it was. Oh boy. Scary. Gets there quick. Yeah. You're trying to stay in position when the ball's thrown. You got to stay out of the way. Busted him inside and missed two and two. So though we go to slow motion by several cameras and different angles to grade the umpires whether they got it right or wrong. It's not very easy. Take a look here from behind. Kerwin Danley. Swing and a miss, and for the second time, Martinez strikes out. This time, swinging. 
Hey, buy one ticket, get a second one free to see the Tigers take on these Mariners tomorrow. To purchase, go to Tigers.com slash B-O-G-O. -O. Buy one, get one, BOGO. So what one would you rather stand at out of those three positions we looked at? First, second, or home? Well, definitely not home. Uh, I would pick home. Would you? Because yeah. of what? You're more protected? You're, no, because you're right there. Oh. You can't get closer to it. Probably like first base. First. <laughs> I like, I like a challenge. Yeah, it's challenging over there. Ground ball and a base hit. Well, they had him shifted to the left side. It didn't matter. Well, Nick went to the right side of the diamond in his first at bat for a single. This time he goes right through the left handed shift. Take a look from over top. Not a big area right here. He's going to go right through there. Got through there quickly. You know what I like about what Castellanos has done this year? He had that great month of April, 363, and then his average. As the season went on, dip below 300, but it never really dipped too far. He just has been really consistent this year. He came in at 302 and has two more hits tonight. I think one of the things is that the experience tells you not to panic. Little number off the end of the bat, Iwakuma will throw him out. And that's it for the Tigers. No runs. They get a walk and a single and leave two. To nothing as we go to the top of the fourth inning at Comerica Park. The Chevy Silverado most dependable player is Michael Fulmer. And here are some of the ranks through 10 starts in Tigers history. Well, you can see first in strikeouts, top 10 in wins, ERA, and opponents average. Now, although he really hasn't been as sharp as we have seen him here this evening, he has three scoreless. He's a battler for sure. Robinson Cano hit a ball hard to left field that Justin Upton ran down. That was back in the first inning. Cano hammers this one back out of play 1 1. Cano has walked four times in the series. Twenty nine strikes out of fifty. Pulled foul. One and two. You know, a very tough batter to defend. Can use all parts of the field. Tigers outfield spread out pretty good. Pretty much straight up. Just hope he doesn't pull one in the right center field gap. A lot of room out there. Try to 
very tough to cover everything out there. Ball two. Of the home runs that Cano has hit, 247 of them have been as a second baseman, so he has the most in American League history in home runs for a second baseman. Here's the 2 2 offering. Slice to center field. Maven coming on. He'll run it down. One out. Just a reminder as you enjoy a cold one to look forward to Miller time later in tonight's game brought to you by Miller Lite. Here's Deho Lee. Singled in the first inning. Ball one from Fulmer. He was a three time batting champ over in Korea. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Hammered back out of play one and two on Lee. Lee also was voted the most popular player in the KBO the Korean baseball organization in 2011. He started baseball because of Sin Su Chu. The one two. Yeah. Chu's had a pretty good big league career. Yeah been hurt a lot. But it's just uh, you more, the more you look in, into these guys, what makes them, who they idolize, etc. Everybody's got an idol. Everybody's got a sponsor. Everybody gets motivated by something. Now the 2-2, two -two. high and away. Three balls, two strikes on Day Ho Lee. Who was the one guy you looked up to as a kid before you got into pro ball? K-line and uh, I liked Mickey Lolich. Nice. I never really thought I'd be playing there, though, you know? Yeah. But you did? Thought it'd be uh, football, so that was Fred Blitnikoff. Nice. Boy Dollar. Who? Boy Dollar. Who's that? Packers. No. Oh. You didn't know that one, eh? No, I didn't. Now, Fulmer again with the 3 2 pitch. In the air to right field, slicing toward the line. Here comes Moya. Nice running play. Stevens made a couple of good running plays here tonight. Yeah, taking a long time to slow down there. You get those big, get them big legs moving right there. He's covering a lot of ground with each stride. Never takes his eye off the ball. Looks it all the way into the glove. Big deceleration late after he caught that one though. Going straight into it. Now you go to the different surface, the kind of the stone surface right there. Got to pay attention. The other ball that he tracked down was in the gap to the triangle in right center. Yep. Starting to get used to the outfield out there. You can see it. Ball hit right into the shift, fielded by Iglesias. Seeger is out. Bulmer cruising along a one, two, three, four.
year and this year doing a split screen. Let's take a look right here. Look at the legs right here. Stance is totally different. Now we're going to roll it. What does it do? He opens his stance because he felt like he was break. He was closing himself off on the right. And the opening up of the stance allows him to stay open and get to that inside fastball. So you can see right here, look at the leg. This leg here is open. This leg here is kind of closed. And he's had much more success. Hit 181 with 10 Ks last year. This year, much better, swinging better, more confident, and able to get to that inside fastball. And Moya had a single and scored a run back in the second. Iwakuma brings it home and it's drilled deep in the air to right field, to the track, to the wall, and that ball is gone. All right. Right on cue, Stephen Moya, a solo shot of the fourth. Iwakuma's smiling. He can't believe it went out because he actually jammed him a bit, but he opened that front side up just enough to get it out of this ballpark. Moya is a different guy offensively. Well, again, he's freer. He can see the ball. I also like it open stance because it allows your eyes to be square. Look at there's inside corner. You see him bring that bat head in. Turn the wrist over. Doesn't close himself off. Doesn't block himself off. and can get to that pitch. They talked to Wally Joyner before today's game at length about it, and uh, they waited till the end of the last year to make that suggestion. He went to winter ball, worked on it, and the results looking good. Winter ball pays off. That is the first home run that Moya has hit in the home ballpark. So a couple of nice running catches, a couple of hits tonight. Pretty good. One ball, two strikes on Salta Lamacchia. By the way, we're two thirds of the way now to Curly Fries. Here's the one two. Salty had a single scored on the double by Iglesias in the second. I'm going to say we're going to get there. Who's going to do it? That's the question. All right, who's your choice? Who will hit the third homer of the night? Let me look at this. I'll go with. Uh, Kinsler because it's his birthday. It's got to be him. I'll go V-Mart. You took my guy from last night. Oh, that ball belted toward right center field. A lot of room out there though, and it's going to be run down by Seth Smith. Okay, we're going to take another look at Stephen Moya on the home run ball. Just giving you the side swing. Gets a good load down. You can see it can open up to get the hands inside. He knows it's gone. When you're the guy hitting it, you've got the best inclination of yay or nay. Four nothing tides. That time it was yay. Here's Iglesias. I think uh, Iglesias thought the ball that he hit his last time up was going to go. And I thought he had a pretty good shot. He went up about halfway up the gate and left. He's had a couple of those this year off the wall like that. She could have two more home runs. On the ground up the middle. Cano, tough play. Late with the throw, an infield hit. Iggy gets down that line pretty good, especially when he's smelling a knack. A what? Knack. And the guys in the dugout say, that's a knack. Fishing for my clock right here to try and time him. Too slow, but uh, yeah, he got out of the box good there. Cano did everything he could. Too late. Here is Kinsler. Strikeout fly out. Tigers already have put up eight hits on Iwakuma and four runs as well. It's a pretty good sign as well, Gibby, when you think about the fact that last night they beat a guy who was a left-hander throwing 100 miles an hour in the eighth inning of last night's ballgame. Well, Paxton threw a good game. It was a game of execution. Tigers executed offensively, defensively, and pitched good. They got the win. And tonight they're beating a guy that came in with a 2-1-7 ERA over his last seven starts. Good time to get on a roll.
Paxton yesterday threw 110 pitches, 72 of which were 95 or over miles per hour. Line drive right by the shortstop Marte into center field, and Kinsler has a single. Tell you, Tigers are hitting the ball hard, but they are finding holes through their defensive alignment. Here comes Saddlemeyer with the interpreter for Iwakuma. Now here's a question when the catcher goes out the interpreter does not come out. So how do they communicate there. Simple I'm sure they have a simple. Uh, language that they speak something very like OK. Hi. Yeah I'm sure that's how it goes. And I'm telling you. I'm sure they do get a little extra time. Don't they are supposed uh -oh. to get 30 the clock's not on. Yeah our clock not running here. Home plate umpire went out there. Kerwin Danley broke it up. Four nothing. Tigers have the lead. Iwakuma in another jam here in the fourth. Cameron Maven stepping in. He's put the ball on the ground twice. So for two. Nine Tigers hits now. Ball one to Mabin. Cameron has hit safely in all 16 that he's played in at home this year. All 16 with at least one at bat. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Got Jan that time, fouled it off. Time now for the home field advantage brought to you by Lowe's. And when you look at the AL home records, well, the Tigers since May 16th, pretty good. Not bad. Kansas City out front, 14 and 2. And also, uh, Cam Maven had a lot to do with that when he came back. Tigers have been playing very well since he's been red hot. Now hitting in the two hole. Chance to do damage right here. Nice take. Two and one on Maven. His on base percentage this year has been among the best as well. It's over 400. Here's the 2 1. Ground ball slowly towards second. Cano has only one play. And he got it by a step. You know, boy, he really gets rid of it quick. He can throw from any angle. This one here down underneath. And I was thinking, boy, he might beat this out. But Cano is just as cool as could be. Picked it up, flipped it over there. No big deal. Now Miguel Cabrera. First base open, take the bat out of his hands. Well, we need that third home run, right? That's right. My guy. V Mark coming up. Yep. Yep. Boo says the crowd. They want to see Miggy hit. Not going to happen in this at bat. He's got service with the bag open. We'll put him on and try their chances. Victor Martinez. Tell you, Paxton's glad he's not out there right now. James Paxton, remember the last night he had a hard time doing this. Oh, right. He was just kind of floating him up there. Jap almost offered it one. In this Saturday, the Tigers face the Indians at 410. Come early to check out the Tigers' sixth annual Classic Car Show. Classic Cars will be on display in front of the Comerica Park entrance beginning at 2 p.m. Visit Tigers.com or call 866-66-TIGER. Oh, Vimar, two strikeouts and two at bat so far. One, he took one, the other went down swinging. 
So he's seen the kitchen sink and uh, I'm sure he's thought about what Eva Kuma's been featuring, looking to have a big at bat here. Take the information, process it, put it into good use. Strike one on V Mart. That was the shoot, though. Tigers have Iglesias, Kinsler, and Cabrera aboard. By the way, that intentional walk to Miggy, the seventh he's had this year, which is tied for second most in the AL. The 0 1. Now it's 0 2. Another one. Pretty much what he's been featuring tonight to be Mark. Michael Fulmer has allowed just two hits in this game and four scoreless. Tigers have backed him up with four runs and maybe more. Kuma about to throw his 75th pitch of the evening. Fastball in. Clevenger wanted it in there. Iwakuma did not want to throw it in there. Base is loaded with Tigers trying to bust open a 4 0 game. Tigers already have won the first two in this series. And their home record this year is 19 and 13. Ground ball foul outside of the bag at first. Looks like the catcher Clevenger went out on that conversation. Did throw the fastball up and in. Pretty much. You see a 75 pitch total 24 pitches in the second now 22 here in the fourth 75 total is high this year 102 pitches. It's well on its way here early in this game. Mariners are going to be dipping into the bullpen tonight. Again the 0 2 pulled foul. Bobble down there by the ball boy, but he stayed with it. Think that'd be easy down there? Depends on how hard it's hit. But if it hits the edge of the grass and the gravel right there, that yeah, makes it tricky. So I would say no, that wouldn't be easy. But if you charge it, got the short hop. Right? Yes, <laughs> true. That was bait. Now one taking it. Oh and two. That'll get fouled down the left field line. Victor Barron down after his first two at bats. Really impressed me about the Tigers last night. The last two at bats by Avilas and James McCann. This total two strike battle, battle, battle at bats. Got two runs out of it, put the ball in play, good things happened. Can with the sack fly. Davidless with an infield single. Tigers went on it, put him up 4 2, and uh, Frankie shut him down. Get the win. And again, grounded foul, this time just outside of the bag at first. So Martinez continues to battle here. Just think about what it'd be like to be a, a DH. You have your first at bat, you strike out, second at bat, you strike out. For every at bat, you go down in the batting cage. They do have batting practice pitchers. You take some swings, you hit some off the tee. There's a fine line between staying loose, doing too much, overanalyzing. You do have the benefit of watching your tape. 
you know, that you go down there and watch the tape, run up the clubhouse, try and figure out what you're going to do with your third at bat. And here we go. Iwakuma having trouble putting him away after getting ahead 0 and 2. And he takes the ball low. One ball, two strikes. You know he's going to come back to that shoot, though. Looks like he's crowding him with the fastball up and in. Shuto in the dirt. Should Victor reach Castellanos on deck? Now the one two. Got him. Strike three and Victor strikes out for the third time tonight. Got a fastball by him. Boy, of those started the inning with a home run. First here at career at Comerica, his second homer of the season. Fulmer back to the mound and he leads American League rookie starters about eight and a half strikeouts per nine this year. Yeah, he's good. No question is just the question will be can he stay healthy? Can he continue to roll the way he is? You get a guy who's only thrown less than 130 innings in a season. You wonder if he's going to get tired at some point and lose his location. Adam Lynn will start things off here in the fifth inning. It'll be Lind and then Cattell Marte and Steve Clevenger. Infield playing to pull. Here's the 2 0. Outside, three balls and no strikes. Tigers have four runs, nine hits. Seattle, no runs, two hits. There's the strike, takes all the way, and it's 3 and 1. Way inside ball four as it goes to the backstop a leadoff walk. Check in now Matt Shepard. Mario when you think the elite shortstops in baseball immediately you gravitate toward the American League. Carlos Correa Francisco Lindor maybe Jose Iglesias. Well this kid for Seattle right here could tell Marte is jumping into that conversation already. He's a guy who is tied for the team lead with Robinson Cano and Kyle Seager for most three hit games this season six. But the thing that Mariner veterans love most about him is his approach his desire to get better his thirst for information not only learning it fellas but applying it as well. And I got to tell you this story right here. I'm standing right next to some folks. OK. The dad is talking baseball to me and Gary and the usher. You know what the mom's looking at on her phone right now. What's that. She's looking at her own private closet. Not enough room 
to get shoes in that closet. It's one big hallway. There's no baseball game interest here. It's all about clothes and shoes on her cell phone. Watch it's out, about Chuck. the shoes, fellas. It's about the shoes. God love her. Keep your eyes on that baseball ship. <laughs> I'm trying, Gabby. I knew that was coming out. Yeah. I'm ready for you. I'm going to tell you something. This guy's going to save me. Gary's going to save me. There's a lot of beer vendors around here. As soon as I'm done visiting with them, they're going to save me as well. And I know you got my back as always. Ship, you got to save yourself sometime. I know. I know, brother. Well, here it was. This is what we're talking uh, no, about here. No, you're not. Yes, we are. Are you here really? Flashback. Oh, boy. Here we go. Little pop up I mean, down the first the base baseline. Runners. As the ball comes my way and almost nipped me, um, almost. but only 6% of the base runners. <laughs> I, you know, I know who asked for this. I know exactly who asked for this. Kurt Gibson said no, this on the conference no, call this morning. I promise. Who's working reporting tonight? Oh, it's not Justin, it's Shep. I got a great idea. Let's go back to some, let's go to some low hanging fruit. <laughs> We got it. We'll store it in there. But I'm a good sport. I love it. That's hey, okay. Hey, Feed Shep, me more. Shep, I've had a few bloopers on to it. It'll make you better. <laughs> I don't know if it's any worse than that one, buddy. <laughs> it is. There's a drive to center field off the bat of Clevenger. That's a base hit, and that'll put two men on now with one out. You know the impressive thing, Gibby, about that whole episode there he was, was Shep. He was locked in. He was locked in, and he just kept going. He didn't care that he just got hit by a foul ball. That's impressive. It was very good. He Meanwhile, did, he Seattle did, now. Yeah, he didn't get booed though. Yeah, no, he, he didn't. And that's always important. Well, Michael Former is going to be tested here now, really, for the first time in the game. And these are the kind of things that the Tigers are going to have to keep an eye on. Because there's innings and then there's high leverage innings. This is turning into a high leverage inning. Nori Aoki, the number nine hitter. He's going to try and slap this right between that shortstop and third baseman. Swing and a miss, so and one. You see that Castellanos is in at third, so there's this alley right here. He's pretty good at hitting it. We haven't seen him do it yet this series, but I've seen him do it many times. Ooh, that one hit him. Down he goes. Aoki is drilled and that's going to load the bases now for Seattle. Could hear that up here. Got it good. Michael Fulmer really having trouble with his command right here. He just held on to that too long. Got him in a good spot. Just got him in the calf. Just the muscle. Don't want to get hit like on the ankle bone or in the foot. Some place where the bone is close to the surface. More the knee, I would imagine. And that wouldn't be good, knee or kneecap. So we got a little bit of the uh, calf there, which is more muscle than anything. Well, it's time now for T-Mobile's greater coverage of baseball. And here is the upcoming schedule for the Tigers. Well, let's take a look. They got Seattle tonight and tomorrow. And then you see Cleveland, Miami. Now, right here, we're here on Wednesday. Fulmer's going to pitch here, so his next one two three four they inserted Sanchez right here so Fulmer's day would be here again so I'm going to believe they're going to skip him and then uh, I think Mike Pelfrey right now is in the bullpen so the Tigers trying to get that pitching staff in order get some people rested Michael Fulmer back him off a little bit tonight maybe he looks a little tired don't you think could be we'll see how he does here against Leonis Martin and I think you bring up a good point in the fact that you have to look at how many innings he is used to pitching or at least has pitched in a single season at this point. And you can't forget about the minor league innings that he pitched this year. Well he's uh, he's been on a real roll here. This is his 11th start. He's thrown some innings too. seven and two thirds seven and two thirds six plus six five and two thirds last last Saudi. Oh, and he hit another batter that will force in a run. Martin is hit by the pitch and that'll make it a four to one ball game. We got action in the bullpen. Tough way to get an RBI but Martin will take it. That's it. It'll be the last batter for.
Fulmers, so he will not be able to get a win tonight. As he will be taken up in the fifth inning here with only one out. Base is loaded. Fulmer departs. Tigers go to the pin in a wall side windows pitching change. And forcing in a run, Michael Fulmer is out of the game, and he will leave with the bases loaded, still responsible for those base runners. Yeah, after four and a third innings, uh, starting off with the walk, got a force out, then a single, hit two batters in a row. There's one run in. Tigers lead four to one right now, but uh, Brad Osmus has made a quick change here, and Kyle Ryan will be. The new pitcher for the Tigers. Good job by Kyle a couple nights ago. Came in, shut down the Mariners. They have many left handed pitchers or left handed batters in the lineup, and that's the thinking there. So hopefully the Tigers can get out of this inning with any further damage. Franklin Gutierrez will pinch hit for Seth Smith. They are loaded up. It's a three run ball game now, four to one. Slides low and inside. One ball, no strikes. Clevenger at third. Aoki is at second base and Martin at first. He did double play. One ball, one strike. Thought that was a real good uh, call by Brad right there to get him out of there quickly. We haven't seen him do this all year, so that would be concerning to watch a guy who's been dominant and really throwing the ball where he wants it to hit two batters like that. Might think he's fatigued. Maybe feels a little something in there. Not telling anybody. Outside two and one. Gutierrez began his career with the Cleveland Indians. Been with Seattle since 2009. He's got the tying runs on here with one out. Fouled off. Two balls, two strikes. Looks like Gutierrez really pulling that front shoulder off the ball. Get that ball sinking on the outside part of the plate. Get your double play ball. Now the 2-2. Swing and a miss. And Gutierrez is out. 
Big strikeout there for Ryan. That'll work. Two gone. You see, it looks like a two seamer. Looks like it's cutting a little bit as well. Salty sets up on the inside part of the plate. Good execu good execution here. Gutierrez strikes out. Still bases loaded, two down. And a big out to get. Robinson Cano stands in. Take a look at your defensive alignment. Pretty much straight up. Kinsler deep. And Cano shoots one on the ground right to the first baseman. Cabrera will flip to Ryan, and the inning is over. Minimal damage done. They'll leave him loaded. Nems get a run back. Tigers baseball tonight presented by Bell Tire. Baseball on Fox Sports Detroit is brought to you by the Sam Bernstein Law Firm, official legal services sponsor of Fox Sports Detroit. Bell Tire, get the lowest tire price, period. Bell Tire. And by Chevrolet, more than you expect for less than you imagine. Back here in the Motor City, 4 to 1 is our score. The Tigers avoid the big inning and they give up run, one run but that's it Franklin Gutierrez will stay in the game he'll play right field that's tough you come off the bench strike out with the bases loaded you get to go out and play defense huh? it's tough mentally but uh, got to be good at it Castellanos will start things off and he takes a strike from Iwakuma Nick has two singles in this ball game. The 0 1. Grounded toward third. That is a foul ball. So just looking back at that, that inning, we get out of there with no further runs. But one of the main reasons is that you get the force out by Cattell Marte. Remember, Kinsler went to second base. So you get one out. So that's why we always talk about getting one out at a time sometimes. That allows the. the uh, the double play to be in order or the strikeout and then the ground out. You see Rich talking to Michael Fulmer there. Game sped up on him a little bit. We have not seen him lose control like that all year. Two straight hit banners and uh, Brad made the change, brought in Kyle Ryan who got the strikeout and the ground out. And as a player, you're sitting there, you're listening to your pitching coach. You know he's trying to help you, but. Steeman inside. Nick takes one low. Two balls, two strikes on Castellanos. He's done a heck of a job this year. It's normal to be frustrated. He's a competitor. But a smart move to get him out of there, and uh, he'll be ready for his 
next start. Whatever that may be. And Nick took it looking for a strikeout. One away. It's five strikeouts now for I Iwakuma. Well, Nick just uh, gives up on this ball. Thought it was going to come in off the plate, but stays on the corner. Iwakuma, that's paint. Here's Justin Upton. Upton a double play ball and a ground out. A little bit outside, one ball, no strikes. Well played umpire Kerwin Danley. He's got kind of a tight zone tonight. He's making the pitchers put it on the plate, not giving anything off the edge. Fly ball, right center field. Gutierrez hauls it in, two gone. Kerwin Danley is uh, an umpire that has had several, well, he's had a rough go of it, man. He's had several concussions. He took a fastball, I think, at the a mid 90s fastball straight off the mask a few years back. He did. He's, uh, I know he's been out of the lineup several times. And a broken bat got him square in the mask another time, so. He has battled some injuries that you know we talk about catchers getting beat up but home plate umpires not immune. Ball one to Stephen Moya who homered in the fourth. Well if you just look at Kerwin he again like uh, Joe West he he's sets up inside so he's exposed on the inside right there. Hammer toward left field Aoki is going back to the track to the wall. Two homer game for Stephen Moya. What a night! Third hit of the game, second home run, and he's got pop. Iwakuma is trying to go down and away right here. He figured that's the safe zone. He just hit one in the inside corner. Well placed pitch, but Moya's got so much strength. Big levers there off the sweet spot of the bat. Takes the lead down four again. Tigers lead 5 1. Tenth hit of the night for the Tigers. Moya has three of them. Not to mention a couple of good running catches as well in right field. It'll make you smile. It'll make you laugh. Alta Lamakia takes it outside. One ball, one strike. Now they go through the one of many different handshakes that they do. Everybody's got a different handshake. They design these things. I forgot which manager said it, but uh, and it might be Ben Leland. I'm not sure, but you know they they've got all these handshakes. They can remember all these handshakes, but sometimes they miss a sign. Yeah, they, they can't remember simple signs. That. JD comes out to congratulate the big boy. That's pretty cool. Of course, he is playing for Martinez, who is hurt right now. And JD came running out of the uh, locker room to say, "Good job." A lot of times, uh, JD's got to get treatment at a certain time. That's how that goes for that injury. Ooh, Omar with a pick. He's got hands, trust me, he's not gonna lose those for a while. Oh man. Took a bad hop. Came up on him. Kindly handles it. Little top spin. Most coaches would not attempt that. Agreed. Quick first step. Hounded back out of play. 3-2 on Saltilamakia. Salty got off to a quick start. Still has seven home runs, 20 RBI for the Tigers. Has tapered off a little bit, but has not been playing as much either since James McCann has come back. And he walked him. Fish aren't biting. By the way, Curly Franks. Who, who, who'd you pick? Uh, well, not for me. I didn't. I picked Kinsler. You had who? I had Moya. You did not. Oh, that's you right. had I Victor had Martinez. Martinez. What if he hits one 
for the fourth one. Doesn't matter. Then you get the nope. RBs Jr. Nope. No, no, no. Don't start making up the rules. <laughs> we'll to try and negotiate your agenda. that. Here's a ball up and in to Jose Iglesias. Moya two homers and Cabrera a homer. 5-1 Tigers. Here's the 1-0. But a good night for Iglesias. Two-run double, infield single. Now the 1-1. One, one. Iwakuma is about to throw his 100th pitch of the night. Bouncing ball to short. Marte on the charge. Bottled it. Has no play. Tried the running scoop, but it came up on him. Well, this ball just comes up. You see, he doesn't he is unable to get the glove where he wanted to, and this kid's uh, got very good hands. But not in this one. Here's our high-speed pitch brought to you by Xfinity. 90 the high for Iwakuma. Low of 71. Let's see the frustration there. He's going to come out of this game. That's a tough one there. So Iwakuma looked like he had a ground ball to end the inning. Will depart. It's a wall side windows pitching change. Back to the bullpen go the Seattle Mariners. We'll be back. Now five to one is our score. The Mariners have gone to the bullpen. They've got a lefty coming on now. It's Mike Montgomery. Well, there you see him. Almost 40 innings so far for the Mariners. Just kind of got moved to a different position here. More of a long guy right here. Fastball, curveball, change. Has well over league average of 63% ground ball percentage. And the guys look for the ground ball. That's a tough one for Iwakuma. Comes in there's really going to be out of the inning. Gives up the air to to tell. So he left after 100 pitches, and now here is Ian Kinsler. A couple of guys on, and two outs. A run in on the Moya home run to make it five to one. Swing and a miss, 0 and one. Montgomery spent seven and a half years in the minor leagues before he got his first shot with Seattle last year. 
Originally a first round pick of the Royals back in 08. By the way, they ruled that uh, ground ball by Iglesias a single, not an error on really? Marte. Yep. Well, that's favorable. Very favorable. Which means the Tigers have 11 hits. Just as all the left handers seem to do to the Tigers, you see Montgomery coming in, in and pounding that inside corner. Bang that one off his foot. I said changed uh, from left hand left hand lefty to middle relief multiple innings type type guy he has been poor so far this year in these high leverage situations hope that continues and he got him strike three Kinsler is caught looking to end the fifth however Stephen Moy has had a big night he's did a couple of home runs one of the fourth and he goes Oppo here in the fifth. Tigers lead 5-1. As we go to the top of the sixth inning now at Comerica Park on a nice night for baseball here. Tigers trying to make it three consecutive wins over Seattle. And the Mariners coming to the plate in the sixth inning have Deho Lee to lead things off. The yeah, Tigers have had a lot of action, 11 hits, a lot of pressure. Seems like they should have more than four runs, but that's what it is, or I should say five runs. A lot of pressure, left a lot of guys on base. Steven Moy, a couple of home runs tonight. Lee takes ball one. Eight left on base for the Tigers. But this is going to come down to the bullpen for the Tigers, which is somewhat rested. Seattle may end up looking back at the fifth inning tonight when they had the run come in on the hit by pitch and they had the bases loaded. Fulmer was taken out of the game, but Ryan came on and got a strikeout and a ground out to end the inning in Seattle. Ended up with one run and that was it. Lee is out, one gone. Well, three up, three down against Kyle Ryan. I'll bring up Kyle Seeger. Seeger has put the ball on the ground a couple of times tonight. He's 0 for 2.
Ball one outside. Here's the 1 0 pitch. 2 0. Tigers still trying to find Kirk that other lefty that they can count on beside Justin Wilson out of their bullpen. Yep, and uh, Kyle Ryan has done a good job since coming back up from Toledo. Does they have to get Justin Wilson some breaks? I mean, they used him a lot here in the first uh, half of the season, April and May, parts of June. They just gave him uh, quite a few days off. It looked like he got about eight days off. Now he has thrown in two of three, so this is why it's important for Kyle Ryan to come in here and shut the door down, give some of the other relievers a rest. Two and two on Kyle Seeger. Fulmer came out of the game with one out in the fifth. So the Tigers bullpen will piece together the rest of this ball game tonight. Right now enjoying a four-run lead. Bouncing in. 3-2 now on Seeger. Lind will be next. Don't want to walk Seeger. Only hitting 194 off lefties. Got to make him hit the ball, put it in play. Hopefully you can get one of your fielders to pick it up. And he got him. Oh boy. Seeger thought he had a walk. Two gone. Time for a game break now. Here's Trevor Thompson. Trev, thanks. Well, those Indians, no one can slow them down. Here's Adam Lynn, and a breaking ball bends in for a strike 0 and 1. I've said this many times that uh, you tend to look at the other teams when they get hot like that, but you, you got to concentrate on yourselves, making your plays, making yourself ready to play every day, getting your recovery. Get a night game tonight, a day game tomorrow. You've got to take care of yourself. You can't get distracted with it by what everybody else is doing. Makes sense. It makes sense, and maybe easier said than done. But you really have to get get through it. And remember, there's still a lot of baseball to be played this year. And I would think that Kirky try to get to the All Star break, doing as well as he can, and then reset for those four days. Exactly. And uh, you remember our open on the first day on Monday that I came back, I was talking about resting guys, giving guys their rest, don't push too hard, keep everybody healthy for the long haul. And an excellent inning by Kyle Ryan. One, two, three. Including a couple of strikeouts. Kyle has fanned three in this game.
on the Indians at 1 10 p.m. is on the field photo day prior to the game fans get to take photos of their favorite Tigers players. If you'd like tickets visit Tigers.com or call 866-66-TIGER and you might even be able to take your photo with Stephen Moyan. First one home from Montgomery is a ball to Cameron Mabin. My family's got a little thing going on right now. They want to know who my favorite Tiger is. You got one? I do. You want to share it or? Well, who's your favorite Tiger? I, I can't really answer that. I, I kind of look at the whole team, you know. I don't yeah. have a favorite. I like Look. the way they play, watch their dedication. Swing and a miss. I would say right now, I got a couple of guys. I, I love what Castellanos is doing this year. He's one of them, but I think Kinsler right now, just the way he plays the game, a little bit of an edge. He's that, had a, a great year, too. A little bit. He's got a great edge, yeah. He has some intensity, brings it every day. They accuse me of Ian Kinsler being my favorite Tiger. Well, that's just, just by my comments. Okay, accuse is uh, that kind of uh, connotes something negative. There's a swing and a miss. <laughs> I just I, I just use the word connotes by the. What, what does that mean? Well, it infers it infers something negative. Well, it, you're wrong. Right. I, well, no, I'm not, I'm not saying that, but I agree with you. I love the way he plays the game. I hate to pick favorite. I just. You know, just look at it as a team, right? See, can't that's have a cop-out, though. You can't just say, I like the whole <laughs> team. It's, it's I love a, everyone. It's, it's not a cop-out. Yeah, I, Tram is one of my favorites. But I out. guess that would be, that's a cop-out. Cop-out. Pick one. you got to pick one. Right now, right here. Brad right Osmus. Now. Oh, jeez. It's another hey, cop-out. Hey, wait a second. That's not a cop-out. No, it is. You have to pick a player. Oh, not, who's changing the rules now? There's no rule changing your favorite Tiger. I and mean, that at first player. And Mickey's out, two gone. Got to pick one. Go. It was yeah, Iggy. You like him? Here is Victor Martinez, who has struck out three times tonight. It's his tenth career game. Wow. With three close strikeouts. Look at that percentage. The guy, I certainly couldn't say that. Be. Uh, Point zero zero six. There would be a number in front of the to the left of the decimal. Victor pops it up. Foul ground. Will it be playable for Lee? It will not. So, who's your favorite Tiger? Right. We, this discussion's over. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm taking my ball and going home. No, I'm not. I gave you. I I told you. Pick Moya, Stephen Moya. He's your favorite Tiger. Why? Because he hit two home runs yeah, tonight. Yeah, of no, course. Can't do it. Okay, they go with McCann. The McCanner. Yeah. McCannon. Get a little energy in him there. They got those energy bars. How about, how about Kevin Rand, the trainer? Ooh, he's been real valuable. He, he is every year. Mickey, yeah, like him. Kevin Rand, there he is. Hoping he gets to sit in that seat. Doesn't want to come on the field. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Jay up again. I like Jay up. There's nobody I don't like on this team. You're brutal. Cop out. That a boy. There's Jay up. JV. Like him. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Right back up the middle. So much for those three strikeouts. Victor says, no, no, we're not doing it four times. Good boy, Victor. That'll bring up Castellanos. Since I'm a calculating guy, you give me some time to think about it, okay? I will. It may change day to day, though. Just want to let you know. Well, that's okay, too. I mean, it, that's fine. Is that Mike? Yep. Like Mike. It was a commercial, wasn't it? Yeah. How about Shane Green? You like him too? Love him. <laughs> Kyle Ryan, for what he just did, boy, he's moving up the list, huh? He's right at the top. Quickly. He has retired all five that he's faced, three of them via the strikeout. Salty's another one. Oh, just stop. <laughs> How about that hat sitting over there? Is that your favorite hat? For right now, it is. 
One and zero on Castellanos. Got English D on it. There it is, yep. right there. That's Gibby's favorite hat. How about that left-handed glove right there? Swing and a miss by Castellanos. One-one. Now, do you think that our viewers and the Tigers fans that they change their mind from day to day based upon performance? That's kind of my point. Some probably do. But I think there's also a, a core of fans that have their one favorite player and always will be their favorite player. So you can kind of tell around the stadium by the jerseys they're wearing. Absolutely. Tough play for Marte, and he'll get the force. No runs, one hit, one man left. And now a peek at Independence Day resurgence in theaters Friday. Our Comerica Bank game summary. It's kind of the evening of home runs for the Tigers in the first inning. Miguel Cabrera first pitch swinging on the hanging breaking ball. And Stephen Moya back in the lineup tonight after a day off. Goes deep to right field. They try to get in on him. Not, now they go away in the next at bat. And he goes yard again. That makes it 5 1 Tigers as we go to the top of the seventh inning. New pitcher now. It'll be Shane Green out of the Tigers bullpen. Shane Green sits going to the bullpen. It's his 14th game. Three holds, ERA on the way down. Throwing the ball much better. Cattell Marte leads it off as we play here in the seventh inning. It'll be Marte, Clevenger, Aoki. You see the Tigers want to get through this inning. Shane Green, very important. You know, K Rod's going to throw the ninth. We'll see who throws the eighth. Shane Green's throwing the ball good. I think he might just stay with him. Shane's been really good out of the bullpen. Was the number five starter coming out of spring camp. There was the injury to Daniel Norris. And Green started the uh, season in the rotation. Then the blister problems hit. But out of the bullpen, he's been really good. Why do you, why do you think that is? Out of the bullpen, he's been really good. Because he's probably been able to just let it go, don't you think? Yeah, I think all all relievers when they get converted, they throw the ball harder, so they all like that. But you know, he's got the blister problem. So as a starter, you get into 60, 70, 80 pitches. That's when that blister starts. So you're you're able to control that as well. And then the other thing is, as a starter, you've got five days to worry about your next start. You know, you just kind of think and think. Maybe you overthink it, kind of like I do my opens. Kind of. Yeah. And so. You know, now you don't know whether you're going to play. You're going to put your pitch or not. Why is everybody laughing? Because it's so true. <laughs> it is. It's okay. I'm not afraid to admit it. So anyway, it's worked so well right now so far for Shane Green, and hopefully it continues. That's what the Tigers need. They need to find some stability in the roles 
that need to be filled. Perfect words, stability. There's a swing and a miss. See you later. One gone here in the seventh. Marte strikes out. Love making fun of myself. That is the fourth strikeout out of the bullpen tonight. Nice breaking ball right in underneath the hands. Looks like it's going to be a heater inside corner. Disappears. That's three straight strikeouts for the Tigers bullpen. Here is Clevenger. Drilled toward left field. Upton is on the move. No problem. Two gone. Liking those quick outs, huh? Couple of quick ones here now for Nori Aoki. Five one Tigers lead. Hey, we've got an Aoki fan. What does it say on top? I love Aoki. That's probably a pretty good guess. Strictly guess. Line toward left field, up and on the move again, and it's going to be foul. Just couldn't quite get there. Yeah, he's coming out of that wall right there. Couldn't really go at that ball like he wanted to at the end. Smartly pulls up. Walls always win. I see those side walls. No balls, one strike on Nori Aoki. Hit by pitch and a ground out. Here's the ball, though. One ball, one strike. Green trying to get a one, two, three, seventh inning. Right back up the middle. It's going to take a left turn to Iglesias. His throw pulled him off the bag, but he kept his big toe on there. Good footwork by Mickey right there. He's one, two, the three, they go. Coming up, the Consumers Energy seventh inning stretch. Five to one as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning here at Comerica Park. Tigers trying to win their third consecutive ball game. 
Mike Montgomery back to the hill for Seattle facing Upton Moya Saltalamakia. Always want to add on even though it's 5 1. One run big in these type of games. One ball and no strikes. Did you subscribe to the theory when you managed that you wanted to get out of Grand Slam territory. Absolutely sure. Right now a, uh, a four run lead that fifth run. Always seems big for teams. One ball one strike. Jay up over three tonight. One and two. Montgomery played his high school ball at Hart High School in Santa Clarita area, California. A lot of uh, alumni that have played in Major League Baseball from that high school. High, towering fly ball to center. He can't find it. Doesn't look like it. Martin, now he has it. One gone. Here's the 1 800 call Sam call the game on Monday. Do a little telestrating. Jay up goes yard. That's a game winner. That's a walk off. And then Wednesday tonight, we do a little drawing with for Stephen Moya. Good to be lucky. He goes yard. That's from the good work of uh, the truck and everybody behind the scenes. Let me let me tell you. That is telestrating karma. Makes me feel good that we've got a great group of guys that are dedicated to taking chances and stuff like that but uh, to executing it we do that very quickly sitting in that little truck out there and all the cameras capturing it and they enjoy doing it hope you viewers enjoy it Moya two home runs on a single three for three he has hit one to right and one to left here's Montgomery's one one and two on Moya. Yeah, they're not going to try the fastball this time. They went fastball in for the first home run, fastball down the way for the second. Now they're going wrinkle, wrinkle. Two and two. You're talking about the alumni there at. Uh, yeah, Hard High School. Yep. His dad was a teacher. Te was a teacher there. Taught algebra. Yes. So I read the story. I think that you did as well. They took him there to watch James Shields, right? Correct. And Shields, uh, one of the alumni from Hart High School. But Todd then, Zeal also. Yep. But then in the end, this past December, he was traded for Shields, wasn't he? He was. Uh, it's just ironic how he looked up to James Shields and passed him in the airport this year. Here's the two-two. And it's low three and two now on Moya. Some other guys out of Hart High School. Kevin Millar went there. We mentioned Todd Seal. Trevor Bauer of the Indians also went to Hart High School. We'll see him uh, coming in with Cleveland, huh? He's an interesting guy. We drafted him number one uh, with the Diamondbacks. Swing and a miss. Moya tried to hold up, could not do it. Two gone. These are uh, breaking balls. You see uh, Montgomery's got a good one. That's a kind of dropping down there a little bit. Good location. Moya's leaking a little bit. I'm seeing the ball as well from the left-hander Montgomery. Salty a single and a walk in this game. One two. There is action in the Tigers pen. That is left-hander Justin Wilson. So Brad trying to spread out the innings in the bullpen tonight. Although Ryan went one and third. Salt Lamakia strikes out swinging. They'll throw to first to complete it. One, two, three for Montgomery here in the seventh as we go to the eighth. Tigers baseball tonight, presented by Bell Tire.
by pitch, Kyle Ryan comes in, in trouble. Takes care of business right here. Then he gets Cano. Gutierrez, he strikes out, gets Cano on the ground out. Then we go into the sixth inning, one, two, three. Kyle Seeger right here thinks he's got the walk. Strike out. One of the third innings, no run ball, and uh, they didn't score anything after he comes in with the bases loaded and one out. New pitcher for the Tigers is Justin Wilson. 31 games so far. Looking to hold it for Frankie in the ninth right now. 35 strikeouts, only five walks. Pitched very well for the Tigers since coming over for the Yankees. Mike Avilas now goes into right field. So Brad Osmus uh, trying to adjust his defense a bit. Put the best team on the uh, field that he can. And Stephen Moy, a great game tonight. Two home runs. Tough night. Couple of homers, three hit game, couple of nice defensive plays. And you sit out. <laughs> Don't take it personal. Yeah. Thanks for coming tonight. There's a strike called on uh, Leonis Martin. Castellanos in uh, tight at third base, making him hit his way on. Bouncing ball to first that is fielded by Cabrera who takes it himself. Martinez out one gone. This is a little different. Most infielders charge the ball but this is Mr. Trammell's one of his big rules here. I think we got it Miggy. He reads this ball well it takes the drop step watch him go back. He's going to go back. Make the, make yourself get the nice hop. Right on. I mean that looks routine but if you come charging up on that ball and it comes up on you. You don't get the nice long hop. He does make it look routine. He's done it for a while he's good at it. Franklin Gutierrez. Came on as a pinch hitter in the fifth inning and struck out that was the inning in which it was a four to one game they had the bases loaded. A run in one out. And then Ryan slammed the door. He struck out Gutierrez and then got a ground out to end the inning. Swing and a miss. 0 oh 2 on Franklin Gutierrez. Wilson replaces Green, who had a 1 2 3 7. One ball, two strikes. Cano on deck. Want to see quick innings here. You want to get these Tigers bullpen arms in and out. Popped up first base side. Miggy on the run. Can't get there. Tigers do not have an off day till Monday. So night game tonight. Day game tomorrow. The quick turnaround. One of the things that you really try and do. You try and get your players recovered for the next game but obviously makes it tough when you're going night to day. One o'clock start tomorrow. One o'clock start and then when the Tigers hit the road they will have uh, no off days either. Eleven in a row before they go into the all star break. That'll get foul. He's excited huh. Doesn't really matter how old you are, man. You get a foul ball at the ballpark. <laughs> what is it about a baseball? Huh? They are know. pretty cool. One and two. Got him in the outside corner. Gutierrez is caught looking. You can see the grips on the side of the ball right there. Outside corner. Down he goes. Two up, two down. Yeah, the story's going to get better by the time this guy gets home, isn't it? <laughs> I it thought he sure caught is. off somebody else's glove. It is 10 straight now, retired by the Tiger bullpen. Here is Cano. 0 and 1 on Robinson Cano. They've held him hitless tonight. He's hoped for three. Oh. 
on the ground of the second baseman on the backhand pick Kinsler throws him out Wilson a one two three eight. It is 5-1. The Tigers have the lead, trying to go to 3-0 and in this series against the Seattle Mariners. And it'll be Jose Iglesias to lead it off in the home half of the eighth. He'll look at a strike call. Montgomery's still out there. This will be his third inning of work. Iggy with two singles, a double, two RBIs, and very nearly a ball that uh, crept inside the bag. 0-2. Again, Tigers looking to attack one or two on. Probably like to give K Rod a day off. I think he's been up two or three, actually, two of two, the last two. Popped up, left side of the infield for Marte. One away in the eighth. Here's Kinsler. Single and four at bats tonight for Kinsler. Tigers have a couple up. Alex Wilson, K. Rod, up at a pin. I think if the score stays the same. I think uh, Alex Wilson will come in either way. You may put K Rod in there. Most of the time, you don't want to bring your closer unless it's a save situation. But uh, Brad may want to just close it down with his best pitcher. That ball is going to be shot to right field, but caught on the run by Gutierrez. Six in a row retired by Montgomery now with two outs. Here's Cam Maven. Tigers have badly out hit Seattle tonight 12 3. Five one game in the bottom of the eighth. Michael Fulmer's given up the only hits. Kyle Ryan. Shane Green. Justin Wilson. No hits five K's. Fly ball to left that'll be playable for Aoki. And it's a one two three inning which means we go to the night.
game summary tonight. Stephen Moya has had a big night, three for four, a couple of solo homers. Fulmer, what do you think of him tonight, Gibby? I thought he struggled from the first pitch. Didn't have his location. He ate quite a few, but he battled. Then he hit two batters uh, in the fifth inning in a row with the bases loaded. So I think Brad, uh, with a good quick hook tonight, turned it over to the bullpen. They have been exceptional. Well, part of that bullpen now is K-Rod. He'll come on. Well, this is not a safe situation, but uh, however it is, his 29th game, ERA, he's done a good job, 20 of 22 save opportunities. You know, you, some might wonder why you bring it in your closer, because there's something to be said about games you're in control of and locking them down. And Francisco is a veteran guy. He's uh, two of his last two, but he's had lots of rest before then, like seven days in a row. And he's he can recover, and he'll be ready to pitch again tomorrow if he doesn't have too long of an inning. So I... I think that's why Brad's going with him right here. Deho Lee will lead things off, then Kyle Seeger and Adam Lind. Tigers lead 5 1 as we play here in the ninth. Here's the 1 0. Lee a single and three at bats. Justin Wilson was perfect in the eighth. Shane Green a one two three seven. Cal Ryan good work tonight as well. That is whistled foul. One and two on Day Holy. Two and two. Only three hits surrendered tonight by Tigers pitching and none by the bullpen. No walks by the pin and five strikeouts. That's what you're looking for. Like to see the Tigers close it out fairly quickly here. Get refreshed. Get some good confidence out of this performance tonight. Two and two on Lee. Series finale here tomorrow before the Indians come a calling over the weekend. Swing and a miss. Lee is gone. One out. Let's take. Let's take a look at the Jimmy John's freaky fast delivery of the game. Two outs in the second inning. Single by Stephen Moyes. Single by Salty. And then uh, Jose Iglesias comes up. Thinks he might have got it. However, off the wall for a two base hit. Scores both Moya and Salty. That put the Tigers up 3 nothing at the time. Tigers now up 5 1. Seeger fouls it off 0 and 1. Struck out his last at bat. He's 0 for 3. Couple of ground balls as well. Fulmer needed two more outs in the fifth to qualify for a victory tonight, so he will not qualify. The 0 1 is a ball outside, one ball, one strike. Here's the 1 1 pitch. Bouncing ball back up the middle. Iglesias right there. And there are two gone. We check in now with Matt Shepard with a preview of tonight's Tigers Live. All right, Mario, and out of the way from another Tigers victory. We'll talk with Stephen Moya on the field. Two homer day, three hits. Outstanding night for him. Go inside the Tigers clubhouse. Talk to Brad Ausmus. Get his thoughts on his team's mini role here. But first, we got to finish it off. Don't forget Trevor Thompson back in the Call Sam Studios with Craig Monroe and Rod Allen to break it all down. Back in straight to you guys. All right, Shep, thanks. Here comes the ground to its feet now. We need one more out for a three-game win streak for the Tigers. Adam Lind will step in. Bouncing ball up the middle should do it. 
Iglesias throws him out, and the Tigers have won the first three in this series.